welcome to another episode of Wonders of the World Wide Web, your map to surf the web. In this episode, we are going to talk about Netflix, but what is Netflix? Netflix stands for Network Flicks. It is the video store of the future today. Netflix allows you to rent movies on your computer. But how does this digital video store work? First of all, you'll need a fast multimedia computer with a modem and a hard disk with a capacity of at least 500 megabytes. You'll need a subscription to an internet service provider as well. We also recommend to use the software DriveSpace. To use Netflix, you'll need a subscription. Step 1. Open your web browser and enter the address bar http colon slash slash www period netflix period com. Step 2. Press the enter key. Step 3. Click on the button subscribe today. Step 4. Fill in the form and click on subscribe. Step 5. After only a couple of weeks, you'll receive your Netflix username and password. It comes with a poster, an installation diskette, a CD-ROM with a huge catalog, and a bag of microwave popcorn. Put the installation diskette in your computer. Step 6. Open setup period back. It will quickly copy the software to your hard disk. If everything worked, you'll see a new icon on your desktop with Netflix. Step 7. Click on the Netflix icon. Type your username and password and click on Log In. Step 8. Congratulations! You can select a movie now. I want to watch a European movie, so I select the genre European. You can even select a subgenre. I select mine. As you can see, there are a lot of results. Mimik seems like a good movie. I select this one and confirm with next. Step 9. Now you see two options, streaming or smart streaming. Only use streaming if you have the powerful computer and are connected to a very fast network, like a university network. Streaming is watching while you download. Our connection isn't fast enough, but we'll still give you a demonstration of the movie Mimik. As you can see, the image quality is very low. We only see one image per second. But what does the video look like when we smart stream it? Well, we did that yesterday, and it looks this way. Way better, isn't it? And if you click on the full screen button, you even get a better movie experience. Step 10. We are going to smart stream a movie. I pick the movie Days Pass. I click on Smart Streaming. It immediately starts to download the movie and it shows me the estimated download time. In only 11 hours and 30 minutes, I can watch my movie and I don't have to leave my home for it. Step 11. In the meantime, you can just use your computer. I'm currently working on my first novel. Ugh, I hate that paperclip so much. See you in 11 hours and 30 minutes. Step 12. Wow, our movie is downloaded. Isn't that awesome? <laughs> That's my popcorn. Have fun watching the movie. After watching the movie, you don't have to return it. You can keep it as long as you are subscribed to Netflix. We'll finish this episode with some general advice. We recommend you to delete the movies you've watched to save drive space. If you pick a movie with your partner, we recommend you to disconnect the internet as soon as the movie list appears. A study from Dutch Utrecht University shows that partners need 1,845% more time to pick a movie. Oh, and when you Netflix and chill, please always do it safely. Always use protection. I recommend Norton Antivirus. It protects you against hackers who try to steal your Netflix password. See you next episode online. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and we'll make more videos.